Arizona Republican Congressman Paul Gosar is upset that the United States Army doesn't have enough white recruits. In a letter to supporters, Congressman Gosar warned of a new study showing the number of white soldiers has declined precipitously in the last five years. Congressman Gosar blamed it on the contagion of Marxist woke ideology that has infected our armed services. The congressman attributes the spread of wokeism to Marxists who are pushing wokeism on the military in order to drive out all the white people. Let me just give you a close-up. This is a United States congressman and a dentist. Would you let this guy put his fingers in your mouth? He's a dentist. And now a congressman from Arizona. Vice reports that groups like the Heritage Foundation are blaming the Biden administration for the growing ranks of Marxists in the military. Really? There's an epidemic of Marxists in our military. What's going on is conservatives are upset that after January 6, the Biden administration and the Pentagon decided to address our military's growing problem of right-wing extremism. In the past decade, multiple surveys show that more and more of our soldiers are being recruited and coming into contact with other soldiers, other soldiers who belong to right-wing extremist groups, right-wing extremist groups that target minorities and advocate for the overthrow of the United States government. Because so many of those extremist soldiers identify with extreme members of the Republican Party, Republicans in the House, and right-wing pundits and think tanks like the Heritage Foundation are accusing the Biden administration of conducting a Marxist purge of our military. See how it works? You want to get rid of the right-wing extremists, who uh, some of whom may have been there on January 6th? Want to overthrow the government? Well, only a Marxist would want to get rid of soldiers who want to overthrow the government. Uh, these are the same members of the House who refer to the January 6ers who have been convicted of crimes against our government as hostages. Hostages. Paul Gosar, besides being a dentist, has alienated much of his family who have called him unhinged. They recorded messages for Arizona voters urging them not to cast their ballot for their brother. Gerald McDonald Evoy with the Arizona Mirror has an expose revealing that two former staffers, two former staffers of Paul Gosar's office were groipers. Those are followers of self-proclaimed Nazi Nick Fuentes. Their social media posts, while working for Gosar, openly attack Jews, blacks, and women. Hunter Walker, reporting for Talking Points Memo, wrote in May of last year that Congressman Paul Gosar's digital director, Wade Searle, was a devoted follower of Nazi Nick Fuentes, who hosts the America First video podcast. Fuentes identifies openly as a neo-Nazi, a Christian nationalist who openly hates blacks and Jews. He's a Holocaust denier, uses the N-word, the K-word on his program, and calls for a return of the Inquisition. I'm sorry for laughing. Uh, but it's just so horrible. And he's, you know, would come for me. No surprise... He was a guest of Donald Trump's at Mar-a-Lago two years ago when they dined with Kanye West. He, President, ex-president Trump dined at Mar-a-Lago with Nazi Nick Fuentes. Talking Points says Fuentes was there on January 6th. Talking Points memo writes that Congressman Paul Gosar 
has appeared several times at Nick Fuentes' America First conferences and wrote a letter to the FBI on his congressional stationery urging the law enforcement agency to take Fuentes off their no-fly list. Well, Paul Gosar is from Arizona. Charlie Kirk, the head of the far-right hate group, Turning Points USA, is also headquartered in Arizona. He has one of the number one podcasts in America. All the politicians who want to get elected speak at a Turning Points USA conference. Here is Charlie Kirk yesterday on his podcast. I want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't and have that's done not, that before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't that's have done not that who I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality. The See how it works? In the olden days, they, they had no problem saying, if I see a black pilot, I think, I hope he's qualified. And you'd leave it at that. But now they know how to spin things. So you say, well, that's not who I am. Like they, they catch themselves and deny they just said, watch this again. Want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, well, that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't and have that's done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't that's have done not that who I am. That's no. not what yeah, I believe. It's, it's, who you are. The it's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who the Republican Party is. It's time right now for the David Feldman Show. So get your-